Hey everybody, I hope you guys are healthy and safe. I'm in the Shangri-La Hotel in Singapore where I have just got my hands on or heads on with Play for Dreams first MR device. This is the first Android-based spatial computer and I'm freaking excited, man. So Play for Dream, they've been around four years. They're from Shanghai. They were originally called YVR and they were actually one of three companies that Qualcomm announced that were going to make a headset using Qualcomm's new Snapdragon XR Plus Gen 2 chip. So I have a prototype here. This one isn't working, but I just tried a working one and man, I'm blown away. So the specs for this guy is very impressive. You have two micro OLED screens, one behind each eye that together produce 8K resolution visuals. You have 11 cameras with 22 LED lights and seven types of sensors, which combined will track the space around you. Also project a real video to broadcast to your eye, just like the Vision Pro, and also will be able to track your hand movements. So during the demo I tested, I had to use a controller joystick, but they're telling me that the consumer ready version, which will ship in October, will not need the joystick. You can just use your hand motions. The joystick can still be purchased as an optional accessory because there's like a trigger button there's an analog stick so it'll make gaming a little bit easier but i played a boxing game right now and man it is so immersive the 8k resolution is sharper than anything i have seen you know and i've tested my fair share of ar glasses and i have the vision pro and this guy is sharper and also in some of these footage you may see a cable dangling from the headset i've been told that's also just for the prototype in the final consumer version, the headset will be truly wireless because the battery pack will be built into the headset. Okay, I have to address the elephant in the room. The Play for Dream MR does look a lot like the Vision Pro, but where it lacks originality, it outperforms the Vision Pro in several areas. The first thing is that the Play for Dream MR is much more comfortable to wear, at least on my head. In fact, when I first wore the headset, I thought it was much lighter than the Vision Pro, but turns out it's actually not that much lighter. It's just that the weight is more evenly distributed. The Play for Dream MR's visuals are also sharper. 8K resolution with a PPI of 8882. During my demo session, in addition to playing the games, I also tested a virtual desktop setup in which I had two virtual windows open in front of me and I can move a folder left and right as if I have a dual monitor setup. And I've been told that this is the prototype version. The final version, I can open up the five windows and I can resize the windows to make them larger. I am a digital nomad. I'm always working on the go off a laptop. Having a headset that can give me multiple screens so I can work at a coffee shop or at an airport and have a multi-screen setup has always been a dream of mine. And I thought the Vision Pro could achieve that, but the Vision Pro so far, I cannot really use it in public because it's too heavy. Like the Vision Pro is a headset that I can only really wear when I am sitting back with, with something propping my head. But the Play for Dreams MR headset I can actually wear this. I mean, I'm not, I don't think I can wear this for like two, three hours, but I can wear this for like an hour without any issues. And when I'm not consuming virtual content, when I'm just seeing the real world projected to my eyes, latency is low enough that I can actually play catch with one of the engineers of Play for Dream. There's also two front facing cameras here that can record spatial photos and video. So you can see here, it looks pretty good. But if you have an actual professional AK video camera, you can record content that can then be played back on this headset. Like it's so realistic. When this girl popped up in front of me, I almost felt a little bit like embarrassed because you know, she's dressed a little bit scantily clad and I didn't want to look down. I had to be like, ooh, okay, make sure I don't look in that area so I don't get called a pervert. Play for Dream has also collaborated with IMAX and DTS Audio. So for IMAX, you can consume IMAX level content on a screen that's about equivalent to 1000 inches. And as for audio, there are two speakers here above my ear that pump out sound that is similar to surround sound. The Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2 is bleeding edge silicon, only about six months old as of the time of me making this video. And in addition to allowing the headset to pump out 8K resolution, it can also handle on-device AI. So it's a flagship chip in what is essentially an Android device that is capable of spatial computing. So the Play for Dream MR headset is going on sale in October in China, Singapore, and Malaysia, followed by other regions like Thailand. The price, they're still deciding on it, but I've been told it's gonna to be under $2,000. So that undercuts the Vision Pro by quite a bit too. But this video is not finished because the official launch event of this headset 
hasn't happened yet. It's like three hours from now. So I'm gonna go get some coffee and I'm gonna attend a lunch event and vlog about it too. All right, I just finished attending the event. It was really cool to see spokespeople from IMAX, Unity, Qualcomm, and DTS all on stage to show that they are working closely hand in hand with Play for Dream to make the software experience better because this guy's hardware is so good. Like I still can't believe the visuals that I saw. Like the girl that was blowing the bubbles, she looked real, like standing in front of me. And I was like, I basically had to do a double take when she first popped up in front of me. And I was also very surprised to see the founder and CEO of the company openly acknowledge that he's a huge fan of Apple. He thinks Steve Jobs is a pioneer visionary. And that explains why this MR headset looks so much like the Vision Pro because Play for Dream, it's clearly taking inspiration from Apple. It's clearly following in what Apple has established. The founder was openly saying that the Vision Pro, it's a pioneering product. But what Play for Dream is trying to do is take this thing that Apple pioneered, add its own touch, give it an open Android ecosystem, give it better hardware and make it a little bit more affordable. But for me, the biggest reason I'm impressed is because this headset just feels so much more comfortable on my head than the Vision Pro. I have been all in on AR MR glasses for a few years now. Like in addition to the Vision Pro, I also use the x -Real Air and the Rocket Max 2. I use both of those every day. I don't even want to turn on the TV in my apartment anymore because the screens I have that I can put in front of my eyes look more immersive. And now here comes this guy, more comfortable than the Vision Pro and pump out visuals that are sharper too. So I'm excited to use it. This is my hands-on video on the Play for Dream MR. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. Thanks for watching.